Hello everyone, this is Vaseem from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session in which I am going to talk about CGI programming in Python. So let's take a look at the agenda for this session. First of all, I'm going to start with the basic introduction to CGI programming in Python and then I will explain how it works. And moving further, I will explain about the CGI functions and HTTP headers. And after that, we will make our first CGI program using Python. And finally, to sum up this session, I will tell you about a few advantages and disadvantages of CGI programming in Python. I hope you are clear with the agenda. Don't forget to subscribe to Edureka for more exciting tutorials and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on Edureka. And do check out Edureka's Python programming certification program. The link is given in the description box below. Now, without any further ado, let us understand CGI programming in Python. So, what exactly is CGI, guys? So do you know what happens when you click on any of the links on a web page? I mean your browser contacts the HTTP web server and demands for the URL that is the file name and web server passes the URL and looks for the file name and if it finds that file it sends it back to the browser otherwise it sends an error message indicating that you requested a wrong file and then the web browser takes response from web server and uh, displays either the received file or the error message. However, it is possible to set up the HTTP server so that whenever a file in a certain directory is requested that file is not sent back. Instead, it is executed as a program and whatever that program outputs it's sent back to the browser to display. So this function is called the common gateway interface or CGI and the programs are called CGI scripts. These CGI scripts can be a Python script, it can be a Perl script, shell script, C or C++ program, etc. And a CGI or common gateway interface is basically the industry accepted acronym for a set method that is used to define how information is exchanged between the web server and a custom script. As of date, the CGI scripts are officially maintained by the NCSA. So now let us try to understand CGI programming in detail with the help of a CGI architecture. So taking a look at the CGI architecture here, when a request is made to the web server from the client server, the common gateway interface uses external files or programs to handle such requests. And these programs or files can be written in any programming language, but the main goal of these programs is to retrieve data from the databases. And the data retrieved from the databases is converted in HTML format and sent to the web server. Now let us also take a look at a few CGI functions that we have in CGI programming. So these are useful if you want more control or if you want to employ some of the algorithms implemented in this module in other circumstances. So first of all we have the parse function which is used to parse a query in the environment or from a file. Then we have the parse QS which is a function is deprecated in this module and then we have a parse multipart function guys. So this function is used to parse the input of type multipart form data for file uploads and arguments are FP for the input file and predict for a dictionary containing other parameters in the content type header. It basically returns a dictionary just like URL parse and keys are the field names. Each value is a list of values for that field and it is an easy to use but not much good if you are expecting megabytes of data to be uploaded. Then we have a parse header function which is basically used to parse a MIME header such as content type into a main value and a dictionary of parameters. And then we have CGI test which is a robust test CGI script and usable as main program writes minimal HTTP headers and formats all information provided to the script in the HTML form. Then we have print environment function which formats the shell environment in HTML and then we have a print form function which is basically used to format a form in HTML and then we have print directory which formats the current directory in HTML and print environment usage function which is basically used to print a list of useful environment variables in HTML. And last we have the CGI escape now before uh, learning how to make our first CGI program, let us also take a look at a few HTTP headers that we have and that are basically used in CGI programming. So HTTP headers let the client and the servers pass additional information with an HTTP request or a response. So some of the most frequently used HTTP headers in CGI programming are content type which is text or HTML. Then we have expires in which we specify the date, the location HTTP header which is basically the URL 
and then we have a set cookie inside which we provide a string and then we have a content length so these are all the HTTP headers that we have in CGI programming which are mostly used in any CGI program so these are only a few of those HTTP headers and let us also take a look at a few environment variables in CGI programming guys so environment variables are a series of hidden values that the web server sends to every CGI program you run so your program can pass them and use the data they send so we have document root which is the root directory of your server and then we have the HTTP cookie which is the visitors cookie if one is set for them and then we have the HTTP host which is the host name of the page being attempted then we have script file name which is the full path name of the current CGI the script name is there the interpreted path name of the current CGI and then we have HTTP user agent which is basically the browser type of the visitor then we have HTTPS which is on if the program is being called through a secure server and then there is path which is basically the system path your server is running under and before we move on to make our first CGI program I'm going to tell you a few advantages and disadvantages of CGI using Python guys so let's take a look at a few advantages first so these are a few advantages like CGI scripts are portable they are language independent we can write them in any language it does not have to be a specific language in which we write them and CGI can perform both easy and complex tasks easily which makes it scalable as well I mean we can perform tasks like a simple hello world program for instance and so we can work on as easy as writing a hello world program and even complex tasks as well using the CGI it also helps in dynamic communication as well and now let's take a look at a few disadvantages as well so the CGI scripts may create a lot of traffic since there are a lot of requests from the client server and sometimes it may be a very difficult or complex to design and program the CGI scripts the CGI programs may be a little vulnerable regarding the security considering how freely they are available so these are a few advantages and disadvantages now let's move on to our first program in CGI using Python guys so what are we going to do now is we have to make sure that we have a server set up web server that is so for that I have used the XAMPP server guys so if you don't know how to install it you can basically check out this tutorial that we have so you would be able to find it on YouTube guys so we have a tutorial on uh, how to install XAMPP guys so this is uh, the tutorial that I was talking about this is how to install XAMPP server you can check it out and install it on your system guys so what it will do is it will help you to set up a server which is basically Apache 2.0 on your system guys so, so I have already uh, installed it so there is one thing you have to do before you move on with your script guys you have to open that HTTP d.config file and inside it you have to make sure that uh, there is a few things that are already here uh, so I'll tell you how you can check it guys so we'll find for ad handler okay so first of all you have to make sure that in this column over here the ad handler there has to be a dot CGI and a dot PY extension here and then you have to check for executive CGI in your options guys so we'll check for the options as well see it's written over here guys to use CGI scripts outside of script allies directories you will also need to add executive CGI to the options directive so as you can see guys the options directive are none and all or any combination of this so we have executive CGI over here so we don't have to worry about anything so it is saved already now what I'll do is I'll open the server guys I'll open the server with the local host so this is my local host guys now what I have to do is I will take you to a directory guys so this is uh, where my CGI bin directory guys so inside this wait a sec HT docs and inside the HT docs I have one uh, file over here or a folder which is example guys so I'll take you to this folder inside which I have my Python file which is going to be the CGI program guys so I'll open this edit it with idle so that you'll be able to see what kind of program is there so I have added this uh, with an extension hash and exclamation mark this is the path to my Python guys the Python file that I'm using if you don't add this you might find a lot of errors initially when you're starting out with this initial CGI program 
and after this what you can do is take a look at the code guys so first of all we have this content type in which uh, we have this text and html and after that we have our html tags which have head and a body so let's just run this and see the output what the output is so the output is something like this guys so now i'll close this so i already know that my server is open over here so what i'll do is i'll reach out to the example directory and now i will directly call my demo file which is also a cgi script written in a .py extension and i'll run this and the output is my first cgi script which was the body of our html tags that we had written in the program guys so with this we have come to end the end of the session guys i hope you are clear with everything i have uh, told you in this session you may find it a little bit difficult to set up the server and configure everything so make sure you install apache or if you don't want to do that you can install xamp over here it will help you to start or stop a server eventually and you can directly uh, edit the config file add the .py and .cgi extension and execute a cgi in the options directory and then you will be able to run your first cgi script make sure you follow the correct structure of the program in which you have to give the path to your python file and after that you have to make sure that you have written the correct structure of the cgi with headers and everything so that is how you run your first cgi program also you can call it as a hello world program in the cgi world and i hope everything is being taught over here is clear to you guys i want to tell you guys if you have any questions you can mention them in the comment section below and we'll be happy to get back to you as soon as possible don't forget to subscribe to edureka for more exciting tutorials and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on edureka and do check out edureka's python programming certification program the link is given in the description box below thank you and happy learning i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning